Hey you guys and welcome back to Machinki. We are taking a look at our steel factory here that has been busy off camera a little bit. So we have a hundred steel coins made. What are we gonna do with these hundred steel coins? Well simple, we are going to advance to the diesel age. This is the new update that happened in December. It took us a little while to get here, but uh, I wanted to go through the whole progress again since, since they updated the game. Uh, see what all was changed and uh, the overall experience and it is good. I'm, I'm really liking the development of Machinki. I hope you guys are too because it's one of the games that I'm pretty excited for because I'm a big fan of Open uh, Transport Tycoon. Alright, let's go ahead and pay this and we have advanced to the diesel age which is great. Alright, now if we scroll out you guys will see that there's some new resources spread around the map there are oil refineries all right so these are going to be taking uh, oil and turning it into oil coins from the looks of things and uh, there's some additional uh, refinery additions a research labra uh, laboratory that we can add on to it a propane plant which will give us uh, goods plus money so that's interesting. That's something new. There are a uh, shop in Preston. So there's shops for towns, which is kind of interesting. So if we want to go the money route, which by the way, I don't think I will simply due to that we have basically unlimited funds right now. Um, we could do the propane add on to one of these refineries, ship propane to a shop as like a raw good resource to a town. Um, hey, that's a cool thing. I like that. I like the, uh, the the options to go left or right there, which is great. Um, there are, right here, oil fields, some oil wells. Now, so we look at the extension here, we can add more oil wells, uh, des desalination plants onto it as well. And, and I really enjoy how uh, they get more modular as you need, and they do increase uh, all the things you need. This is a thousand dollars. It's pretty expensive, but we have almost thirty thousand dollars in the bank. So right now, I'm not overly worried about this. What is this? This is something I've not seen. Factory. What is this? This is a uh, fertilizer plant of some kind, and this produces goods and oil coins. So that's an interesting option. Uh, we can also just de deliver lumber and, and steel here, and that would give us goods plus lumber coins, which would be another interesting thing. That's, that is a, that's a good way to do that. I like, I like the constant branching out and in, into new industries that the game is slowly unlocking. You have to kind of figure it out as you go and then figure out where you want uh, these places to fill out. The towns, they got a little bit bigger with the update. As you can see, the town over here, uh, Kilmarnock, is uh, a bit bigger now. They've gained some sort of oil, or not oil, but iron mine there. We got shops. We connected up these two towns. I wanted to see if they would use up all the roads if I extended it out. Apparently not, but that's okay. Uh, let's look at some of the new diesel trains, though. So we'll come over here. We will look at our engine bay here and scroll down so these are the diesel trains as you can see so we, there's a br3 there's the bdz 52 and then the emd f3 which is pretty good i can't buy it of course you know, that, we don't have any oil to really do anything with it um and obviously you need oil to run a uh, diesel train so that is interesting. Now the GS2 is a good one, uh, or the 284 Class 65. Now I'm thinking about upgrading a lot of our our locomotives here now. So I might upgrade everything to the GS2 to be honest. It's the fastest that we can do. It's 100 miles an hour. Um, it can, well, let's take a look at it. Let's buy one. Its max recommended tonnage is 178 tons. Um, so it's pretty powerful on this one. So what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell every train we have right now to go to a depot. I want every train to return while we rework our fleet. We currently have a lot of trains on these tracks and I have a feeling that if I can just make longer, less trains, 
that it'll be operating at a higher efficiency because there'll be less traffic to worry about. So we're just gonna tell everything to go to a depot. Everything will get there in due time. Let me click on you, go to a depot. Uh, any other trains out and about? This one, go to a depot. It's all about the depot. You go there. You too. We have 2,555 coal coins to spend. That's what we're gonna use a lot of to get these bulks of trains. Now these trains, these uh, new GS ones, are going to run on coal rather than dollars. So that is something to keep in mind. You are gonna be burning that, but hopefully you'll be making more coal because they'll be doing it a lot quicker. So go to depot, go to depot. Please, everyone, just go to depot. I wish there was like a, see, unlike transport fever, and in way that we upgrade trains this one doesn't really have a great functionality to do that so we have to kind of force everything to the depot and then sell it now we only have a couple depots currently this one's stopping so i can t i can tell you that's not going to a depot that one is this one ain't this one needs to you you're going to a depot it's a big scramble. We're gonna be selling all these vehicles and wagons and things. Though, we might keep the wagons. I mean, no sense rebuying the wagons, right? You can go to depot as well. We have a lot over here, so let's go ahead and just sell. Engine, 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 engine. Yeah, we'll keep the wagons. No sense rebuying those. Let's go and check out this depot and sell these engines. So we're finally upgrading all of these to something amazing. And these are gonna go so fast along our line. Um, I don't have to like upgrade the rails or anything like that to like high, high speed. Um, things are just gonna progress quickly here. Go to depot, go to depot. All right, there we go. We'll sell this, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. And that one. There we go. Any other trains kind of putting about? Looks like we only have three left, so let's see. You. And, yeah, you're already going. And you're going there. Good. There we go. Look at how many state cars that we have here. <laughs> we could make some pretty long trains. That is getting done. That's good. All right, so these are gonna be major upgrades that'll last us until we actually buy some diesel trains. If we take a look over here in the engine yard, you'll see the new diesel trains are pretty good. They have high power and high speed for what they are. Um, the main issue is that uh, this, the GS2, is just so, so powerful. It really should be a lot behind a later age. Um, it's so strong. $145 is nothing. 75 coal is just about nothing as well. So um, it, it, it's interesting that they gave you this, which is only slightly worse than the EMD F3 um, in terms of speed. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing it's really losing out on. Uh, it's a bit heavier, so the EMD could be a longer train, probably. Um, but it's just, it's just interesting that they went that route. All right, let's, let's sell you. Okay, look at all these passenger cars that we have. Look at that. That is, that is a lot of passenger cars right there. Wow. All right. And we have first class. I don't even think these are first class. I think these are coach cars. Um, there's dining cars that we could do, um, so we might, we might, um, we might change that. Yeah, we might change that. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and buy the GS2. So there, here's the GS2 right there, all right? And because it costs coal to run, we're gonna be trying to ship coal first. Now, I'm gonna see if there's a longer wagon for coal. There are, um, as you can see, uh, let's see, capacity is 20, length 0.51. So it's actually a little bit shorter than the lens, but it does carry almost twice as much. So we're gonna buy two of these. 
because, well, we can. And we'll just mix it up a bit. There we go. Let's open him back up. So 178 tons. We're gonna we're gonna make this as, as long as possible. Might as well, right? This is this is the train that's going to get just coal going for us. Well, check that out. That that this one train by itself is going to be the the combination of all of these. There we go. Thirteen point nine seven in total length. This thing is huge. Huge. It's actually double the length of this. All right, so let's give it some orders. You're gonna have your first orders here, guy. You're going to go over here to station 20. And then you're going to go straight over to station 16. And in fact, we're gonna start you. I wanna I want see what this thing looks like going. Yes, yes, pull out, pull out of that station. Look at how huge this thing is. Look at, oh my goodness. Pacific Railway, indeed. Wow, that's, that is a massive train. Oh my, it just keeps coming out. Wow, wow. <laughs> it takes up like four signals by itself. It can carry 220 coal by itself. How much is going to be waiting for us over here is the question. Exactly 200. So what I'm going to have to do is get a freight station to extend the cap by 50% so that there's going to be enough coal here to actually wait for us. That is nuts. So how quickly is this thing moving? 70, 80, pretty quick. It's going 80 miles an hour down the, down the rail. Hold on, let's ride it. Ooh, nice deep. Let's see what it looks like from like 20 cars back here. Actually, I want to see. I want to see the new new coal car. What's the coal hopper look like? Yeah, you can actually get up in it. You can hang on to the side as if we're we're high. You know, hitching a ride. That looks good. Wow, look at how long that train is. Pretty much hits max length. It's not going to hit a top speed. I don't think. I don't think there there is a straightaway long enough for it to hit a top speed. Maybe right in here. This quarter, it might hit it, but these turns slow it down a lot. So let's see. 96, 97, 98, 100, just like that. And then it's gonna tank in speed. 70, 75 around these bands. I wish I could make a more gentler curve, but um, that's, that's decent. That'll do. Oh boy, it's, it's gonna deliver so much coal. It's gonna probably deliver the max that this not, not quite max that this can hold it can hold 300 uh, but it's it's gonna generate so much iron for us immediately so let's go back to the train station let's see if there is a train station that has all of our iron cars in it because we could make an iron version of all of this so here's Here's some of our iron containers. Not all of them. I didn't have another station anywhere, did I? One. I had these two. No, it looks like that's it. Wow. Look. It is just full of material. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll buy the extension for the loco locomotive works here onto this one. So we can use it much the same. Okay. We'll go ahead and buy the GS2. We're gonna move this window over so we can actually see what we're doing. We have to make it so much longer. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and drop off these. 
I guess, I guess I should just make it full length just for iron, right? So what, what, what wagons do we have for iron ore? So there's this new one, which we can't really get because that's just kind of limitations on materials. That's why I'm trying to rush some, some major iron production here. What did I just buy? I felt like I just bought something I didn't mean to. Yeah, I need to buy these. So, boom. Okay, get max tonnage. That's pretty much it. That is full. So, this one's only going to be 10 tiles long, but that's plenty in length. And we'll go to one of these. I guess we'll go to station 18. Straight to station 16. And look at how long this train is, guys. It takes a while to unload. In fact, um, this is a concern. When you make really long trains like this, your stations can't really be part of the main line, right? Because that's gonna start adding traffic because these guys are offloading. So you're gonna have to do bypasses. You're gonna have to do um, different things. Like for example, right here, you can see this train is stuck. Now, it's stuck due to itself. Not so much due to any other reason. So what we'll do to fix that is we'll say, hey, if there's anything past this signal, it's fine, you can ignore it and keep going around. All right. So there's all of that steel being made with one single load of coal. 54 steel waiting for us there. Pretty good, pretty good. So let's go ahead and get another GS train here. And uh, we'll use, Oop. all right, wagons. Okay, there we go. I had to make this bigger again. And then this, yeah, we'll just use these for steel. I'll have to make it the full length as well. That I can go, there we go, 12. Almost 13 tiles on this one. So this one orders, you're gonna go to the steel mill and then you're gonna take it over to the workshop and start. All right, so three trains, three massive trains going off like that. There we go. It's gonna take us a little bit just to get to the oil because I need to reorganize everything. Everything needs reworked. Pretty much. And less trains, the better for it. Wow, look at that thing. Just go off through this town. This is a proper size train. I, I would say, I wouldn't mind seeing it probably end, like if this, if this was the start, I wouldn't see, mind seeing the end down to here. Almost double the size. That would be nice. I don't think we're gonna get that. I think these are kind of the longest trains in the game right now that you could really do. But um, longer trains, always cooler. Always cooler to have longer trains. I'm just, just screaming through that tunnel, through this station. And they're fast, they're very fast. Like if we, if we take a look, compare that. Uh, so these ones are going 100. Uh, the porters were only going 70. So these are much quicker. All right, it's got some steel in it now, so it'll do a little loop here. Just like that. Now I am curious, if there's a train waiting here and its tail goes around, what's that gonna do? I don't know. How that's gonna behave. This loop might end up having to be replaced if these start kind of competing with each other too much. Um, this loop here might not be long enough either. I mean, just look at that. It, has, it takes up the whole turnaround location and then it makes its way back. That is impressive. I like that a lot. Okay, so we are making steel again. All right, and it is making us plenty of coal tokens. Coal tokens, super important for this. So that's all you can hope for. Look at that full load of steel on this thing. Let's, let's see what it looks like on the steel wagons. I don't, I don't think I've seen it. 
Hold on, these are some large chunks. Large bits of steel on here. Such a beautiful game. <laughs> it's just so long. All right. So uh, we have iron basically sorted. We need to sort out lumber yards and one one coal train to go to that. All right. So not quite there yet. Not quite there yet because we're gonna need lumber soon again. So I need to find uh, the train station that has all of our lumber cars. This one has a lot of our passenger wagons. This one over here has a lot of our lumber cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has like almost all of it and some more coal. So what more can you ask for? Okay, let's get another GS2. We'll throw in all these coal wagons here. 100%. Get that up to full size. Alright, there we go. You're gonna have some orders. You're gonna go up uh, to station 9 and then down to station 8. Now the problem being, uh, these trains are so long, I'm worried that it's gonna shut down the main line while it's waiting, but we'll see how well that goes. That takes care of that one. 108 coal in one train. So happy, so happy right now. Let's get, let's get, let's get another. Just keep, keep it coming. All right, this one's gonna be logs. A whole bunch of logs. Is there an upgraded log cart too? There is, and it takes planks. Um, we won't use it for now. I, w I do want to use it later though. But for now, we'll use kind of the default one. give it orders to go down to station seven over to here station six and start so this is going to be hauling a bunch of logs in fact it already has a bunch of logs on it 35 and so it's gonna be hauling 77 total which will look great I love lumber lumber trains they look cool this is max weight, 174 out of 178. Yeah, it's pretty much its max weight. So I think this train will probably, yeah, it's doing a loop there. That's fine. All right, that's good. So we have logs going to, uh, to the lumber mill. We need one to take the planks now. This is a big rework. This is a rework episode and advancement episode. All right, plank, plank, plank. All right. Didn't even have to buy anything for that one. All right, go get your planks to that workshop. Off you go. All right, so we have that set up. Effective. So we have plank coal coins being made and steel coins being made. Now we just need to solve the cash. Not like we really need the cash, but you know, I want to ship some passengers. So this will be a high speed passenger line with some of the new new wagons on it as well. So let's go ahead and get this one, we'll get some wagons on this thing. Let's go ahead and get uh, free first class because that's all we can afford. Hey, there you go. Actually, I, would, I wouldn't mind if I sell one of these. Is it going to give me logs or should I wait? Mm, I don't know. So three and then oh man, I want to do I want to do second class too. Like I wanted to do three first class, a dining car, and the rest second class. Kind of the dining car being the divider in between the two. So we're going to wait for some planks, it seems. Let's come up here real quick. See where our plank one is. Where 
you going, guy? I think it's a little confused on where he wants to go. I think so, unless he just left that and he's just using this as a turnaround. I think he was just using this as a turnaround because he has plenty of planks over here to pick up. 76 of them. We're just going to speed up time. I don't, I don't think we're going to be really losing much, if anything, just speeding up time like this. I mean, we're about to drop off 108 coal in one go. Actually, it makes it all the way in. I'm surprised it actually fits on this one. There's seven, uh, 108 coal right there, and that's just by itself will probably pay for a year's worth of these trains so far. There's train 31. It doesn't block this other section either, and then that's going to give us some planks, which will be enough for that dining car. Just need one. And then second class. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait for more of those planks being delivered. Won't take too long, I don't think. See, this is a problem right here. The station's too short for this train. So it kind of shuts down. Yeah, so you can't use both platforms at once. So that's something we'll have to address. Probably on almost all of these, to be honest. It's going to be a major concern. All right. I might need to get a... Uh, freight station on here too so they unload quicker just so they get out of the way a little bit quicker too we only got 35 planks for that for that trip in fact I might be losing coal in total it feels like I am like slowly losing coal so I might need some more coal coal gathering vehicles I'm properly blocking all, all, all the screen stuff, but I'm sure you guys are fine. More planks being delivered. More logs being delivered. They're so quick, too, at this. Let's take a gander. Let's see what our balance is in coal tokens. Yeah, so, so it's about 186 in vehicle fuel. We are making about 120 tokens a year. So we do need more coal being delivered. Yeah, totally, totally need more coal being delivered. The difference is minor. We have some time. But really the best thing would be to just throw more coal at the steel. The steel factory produces a lot of that stuff. A lot of it. So if we get two, two of them, I think that might cover, cover some of that. Second class. There we go. There we go. Now, now we have the full express passenger train. So let's head down here. We'll hit up station, uh... Yeah, we'll just do that. Station one, boom, boom. Pretty much just hit all the stations. All right. All right, start. Should be a pretty big train. It looks like a passenger train, doesn't it? Amtrak, eat your heart out. Let's see what it looks like on the interior of one of these first class ones. I haven't seen it. Pretty nice to get a little bit of a tray. 
no overhead storage or anything like that. And then the dining car, you get tables. And then this is second class. Let's let's see what it's like all the way in the back. Actually, one up from the back. Look at that. That's a nice view. So, how many people can this big passenger line take? It's not very, like it's long, but it doesn't have a high count of, uh, of cars. It's kind of interesting. 123 total passengers on this main line here. And since all these trains go the same top speed, they shouldn't interfere with each other, which is great too. All right, so this train coming over to its first station, station number one. Picking them up and they're gonna do the turnaround, which I might have to shut off. No, okay, that's fine. Looking good. And I wanna see how much money this takes. We have 29 and a half K. That was about 300, 300 right there. 252 per stop. So that's that's pretty high. That is pretty high. We're almost straight up back to 30K. We almost made uh, half a K in two stops. That's impressive. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. I know, we didn't get anything diesel done. We didn't ship any oil. We didn't ship anything really new. But upgrading your trains, making it efficient is just as important as anything else. So next episode, We'll do some oil. We'll add more trains, work on efficiencies of things, and that might be the end of the season. So, thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this stuff, subscribe for more critical goodness such as this. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.